Hello everybody and welcome back to the Viper project. In uh, today's video I'm going to build the ACS2 ejection seat for my F-16 uh, simulator. I will uh, show you the step-by-step -step that I took to put this together. So without uh, further ado, let's get started. All right, so this is an overview of uh, all the pieces that have been uh, cut by the CNC shop. These are in uh, four different uh, thicknesses, uh, excuse me, five different uh, thicknesses. The plans call for 18 millimeters thick plywood, like these pieces here for the base itself. Then the majority of all the other pieces are actually 12 millimeters, like uh, these ones here. Then there are a few right over here that are very thin. There's are only three millimeters uh, thick. And then the last two ones there, those are one millimeter thick. What I actually ended up doing is uh, laser cutting these out uh, from some acrylic sheet that I had laying around. Uh, same as these uh, small pieces here, because the actually the CNC shop managed to cut these out, but uh, you know they were not so precise. So I decided to uh, redo them in uh, acrylic, which uh, uh, it's a little bit better. I just want to say that uh, this uh, version is just a prototype version of the seat, so the my the final version may uh, change a little bit here and there. And this is just for to show you basically the the way that I did it. But again. Uh, I'll try my best to show every step uh, that I take to, to build it, but bear in mind that this you know, might differ slightly from the, the final version. So um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to start um, uh, building up the base and then the rest of the seat, and I'll show you the step-by-steps. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. This is uh, the setup that I've got. I've got my laptop here with the 3D model of the seat, just for reference. I haven't got a set of instructions just yet because, once again, these are kind of beta plans so um, there's no instruction just yet but they will be on the the final version got some uh, wood screws here various uh, length and dimensions and uh, just a simple uh, electric drill with the uh, drill bit and attachment to countersink the uh, screw heads so that's uh, that's it uh, also what i did i kind of went ahead and uh, used a, a small file to uh, square up the corners here just because these were round when they come out from the, the CNC machine. But uh, that's it. So I'm going to put this together and then uh, show you how it's done. All right, so the uh, base is done, nice and solid. It's super simple, just uh, three pieces. And um, yeah, as you saw, I uh, drilled the pilot holes for all the screws. So, you know, there's no risk to uh, damage or splinter the wood. And um, that's pretty much it. So I'll probably glue this uh, together and then paint it because uh, as this is just the base, uh, it doesn't need to be, you know, super perfect. So um, probably uh, do that in the future. But uh, for now, I'm actually not gluing anything because it's the first time I'm putting this together with screws. So if, uh, if I make a mistake or if I have to change a thing here or there, at least I can take it apart with, uh, with no problem. So I'll... Um, Carry on and uh, now start building the rest of the seat. Next up is the seat back and the sides. So well, um, what I did, I already tried a dry fit of all of these parts. That's why you see them, they're all uh, marked up. And I found it that it's, easy, it's easier anyway for me to put first one of the side on, then put all the cross members in, top and the bottom, and then finally close it up with the, with the other side. So I'll uh, go ahead and do that right now.
All right, so here's the uh, seat back all uh, done and assembled. And uh, as you can see, put a lot of screws in, so it's nice and sturdy. And uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, build the seat base. So already dry fit all of this, just like before. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put the sides in first, then the bottom, then two brackets that they go in here and they hold the top part. And then finally, I'll close it up and put the top part, uh, the top lid in. So I'll um, go ahead and do that right now. All right, so this seat base is now uh, done and all uh, screwed in. It's nice and uh, sturdy. These two are uh, not glued in uh, just yet, but I'll do it uh, once I'm uh, happy that everything fits together. And uh, these are actually quite important because they uh, hold the whole weight of the person that is gonna sit on the seat, plus obviously these two uh, side pieces here. So what I will uh, do next, put up the uh, top part. So this is not gonna be screwed, well, it will be screwed in, but not glued in because and if you still want access to the uh, internals of the seat base to put uh, electronics or uh, whatever you, uh, you need to be able to remove this part. So that's why I'm not gonna glue it in, just uh, fix it with some screws. And uh, next step, I'll uh, go ahead and put the side panels on and then also the uh, side knee guards, if you will, on the either side. All right, next step, the side skins. So these are just three millimeter thick uh, plywood. And as you can see, it's quite, um, it's quite flexible. So uh, actually the plans call for these pieces to be cut out of a three millimeter aluminum sheets. The reason why I did uh, cut them in plywood steel, it's because again, this being a, a prototype, just wanted to make sure that uh, everything would fit, uh, you know, with no problems, and um, and that's that's basically the reason. So uh, it still still works, you know, uh, just to give it a, a little bit of uh, rigidity before I uh, uh, install it on the seat. I'll glue these uh, two sheets uh, together, so then they'll be six millimeter thick, and they'll be a little bit more sturdy. Also, there's this part here. This is. 18 millimeters, it's, uh, it's quite thick and it kind of sits at the front right here. So it gives uh, even more strength to the whole thing. So I'll uh, go ahead and uh, glue this and then I'll uh, put it on the seat. So I actually went back in and added some uh, further reinforcement here to this uh, uh, lower side of the of the backrest, just because uh, I noticed there was a little bit of a flex. So added these extra screws, these uh, two metal brackets and uh, the flex is gone. So that plus when it's gonna be glued in, it's gonna be extremely solid. So I'll um, carry on now with, uh, with the rest and just waiting for the glue to be dry to put the side skin on and then I'll, um, I'll show you. So while I'm waiting for the glue to dry, uh, what I'm gonna do, I will uh, install these two pieces here, which is uh, part of the headrest and I'll screw them from behind. So I need to do this before I put the uh, you know decorative panel at the back here, which is uh, this guy right here. So I'll do that right now. Okay, so the headrest supports are in and I've also added this uh, back panel here and this one right here. This one also, it's a, it's a piece that uh, goes on top. I've done it in acrylic and I've just uh, put these uh, rivets in just momentarily to uh, hold it in place. Uh, I know that's probably not the way that you use rivets, but uh, it's just basically for looks. So I'll uh, carry on and do now, finally, the side skin. So now that the glue is dry, I can start to put the rest of the pieces on the side skin. So this is the left one. You need this bit right here, which is gonna be set in place here. And then there's a few other decorative bits Again, I cut this out of acrylic with my laser cutter. And then also this, it's another three millimeter thick piece that uh, just sits right there. I'll have to glue this in. And then uh, finally, this uh, one millimeter piece that is gonna be screwed right there. 
So go ahead, glue these parts in, and I will screw this uh, bigger, this thicker piece from the other side so I can kind of sandwich the whole thing. And, um, and then I'll, uh, I'll put it uh, on the seat itself. All right, so the side piece is done. So to install it, there are these two little square holes there, which uh, line up with these two tabs on the side. And then I'll secure it in place with uh, screws and then glue it in once uh, I'm fit with the uh, final fit. So I'll uh, go ahead and do that right Here's now. Here's the side piece uh, fixed in place. Put a bunch of screws in so it's nice and uh, sturdy. Maybe I went a little bit overboard, but I figured why not? And uh, anyways, all of these uh, screw holes here will be covered up when I when I paint the whole thing. You know, I will just uh, put some filler uh, first, you know, cover up all the imperfections and then uh, give it a nice uh, coat of uh, primer first and then uh, the, uh, the final paint coat. So I'll um, go on and uh, put on the other side and then finally the the top part that goes here on the side, and then um, I'll show you the result. All right, so here's the uh, seat construction uh, completed. Now what I will do, I'll show you all the 3D printed parts that uh, I already have prepared and uh, I'll show you where they go. They aren't uh, finished uh, just yet. They still need a little bit of uh, sanding and priming and painting, but uh, just for, you know, to give you an idea of uh, where everything goes, I'll, uh, I'll uh, show it to you in just a second. And here we go with the final reveal. So the seat construction is now all complete. And you can see all the 3D printed parts are now in place. They aren't uh, fixed in just yet. You know, same story, just need to figure out their final position, then I will uh, glue them or fix them in place. But uh, yeah, this is just to give you an idea on how basically everything looks together. And super, super happy. This uh, looks uh, super nice. So I'll put this in the pit and then I'll show you the, uh, the final result. And there it is, that's the seat finally installed into the pit and it looks great. I'm super, super happy with this. It's very, very nice. So uh, the way that this works, you can see the base there. It's uh, leaning against the center tub of the pit and I've uh, secured it in place using a bunch of screws. And then the seat bolts to the base using uh, four big bolts. You can see one right there. And there's uh, five uh, holes there, as you can see, that basically allows you to mount the seat at five different height settings. You know, I've, I've set mine up, you know, to the mid position because that's uh, just right for me, but you can adjust it to your own liking. So that's it. So, of course, the, the seat is not finished. You know, there's still a lot of work to do. You know, a lot of other uh, 3D printed parts to be done, like, for example, the uh, parachute container, the uh, rocket holder, and, and so on. There's a bunch of other uh, metal brackets that they go on it's on the side and uh, and so on. So I'll uh, keep working on it. And of course, I'll, uh, I'll be uh, posting all these uh, updates for you guys to see. But that's basically it for, uh, for this video. That's uh, just wanted to show you the process actually that uh, I took to have put uh, this, uh, you know, base structure together. So just wanted to say thank you to uh, Alert 5 Design Studios for providing these uh, seat plans for me to test out. Uh, once again, the seat that you see right here were, was made with some plans that they were in their beta version. Okay, so the, um, the final ones that they will be released very, very soon might slightly different from the one that you see here, but uh, the, the basic concept is uh, it's going to be pretty much like this. So they've done a great job designing this. It's, uh, it's super nice. It, it goes together really well. It's very intuitive, even without the instruction. Some of the parts, for example, 
They have uh, asymmetrical mounting spots for these slots. You can see here, this is not quite in the middle. So basically you can't put this together the wrong way, you know? So it's, a, it's very well thought, it's very well engineered, very, very happy. So if you are wondering where you could uh, find the plants whenever they're gonna be released, they will be available uh, at Invictus Cockpit. So uh, keep an eye out for those. They should be released again very, very soon. Once again, just wanted to say thank you guys for uh, watching. If you've got any uh, questions or comments, of course, feel free to leave those below. And once again, thanks for watching.